Hello, this is David Diga Hernandez, and you're watching Spirit Church here on the Encounter TV Network. If you feel like you've been placed in the middle of chaos, I want you to consider that perhaps you have been sent on assignment. Maybe God has sent you to the valley that you might call someone else to the mountaintop. Maybe you have been purposefully placed in the valley of dry bones that you might prophesy life into someone else. That's what we're going to be talking about. But first, Stephen Moctezuma is here with me. He's going to lead you in some very anointed worship. And then we're getting right into this message. Let's worship now. Waiting here for you With my hands lifted high In praise And it's you We adore Singing hallelujah With my hands lifted high in praise, and it's you we adore, singing hallelujah. With my hands lifted high in praise, and it's you we adore, singing hallelujah. Let's begin by going to Ezekiel chapter 37. I'm going to read verses 1 through 10. This is a very famous portion of Scripture. The Lord took hold of me, and I was carried away by the Spirit of the Lord to a valley filled with bones. He led me all around among the bones that covered the valley floor. They were scattered everywhere across the ground and were completely dried out. Then he asked me, Son of man, can these bones become living people again? O oh, sovereign Lord, I replied, you alone know the answer to that. Then he said to me, speak a prophetic message to these bones and say, dry bones, listen to the word of the Lord. This is what the sovereign Lord says, look, I am going to put breath into you and make you live again. I will put flesh and muscles on you and cover you with skin. I will put breath into you, and you will come to life. Then you will know that I am the Lord. Verse 7, So I spoke this message, just as he told me. Suddenly as I spoke, there was a rattling noise all across the valley. The bones of each body came together and attached themselves as complete skeletons. Then as I watched, muscles and flesh formed over the bones then skin formed to cover their bodies, but they still had no breath in them. Then he said to me, Speak a prophetic message to the winds, son of man. Speak a prophetic message and say, This is what the sovereign Lord says. Come, O breath, from the four winds. Breathe into these dead bodies so they may live again. So I spoke the message as he commanded me and breath came into their bodies. They all came to life and stood up on their feet, a great army. Now, 
Here, God is giving a prophetic picture to the prophet Ezekiel. The context is that the children of Israel have been taken into captivity by the Babylonians as a result of their sin, as a result of their idol worship. They have now come under bondage. They lost their land. They lost their livelihoods. They lost the temple. And they find themselves in this impossible situation. The nation coming back doesn't seem likely. The captivity brings them to a state of depression. The captivity brings them to a state of hopelessness. They worry about their futures. In fact, they know their futures are likely no more. Now, God uses the dry bones as an analogy to explain the spiritual state of the nation of Israel. Think about the fact that these bones were dry. There was no life in them whatsoever. We're not talking about dead bodies that just needed breath. We're talking about all flesh stripped away. We're talking about bones lying in a valley, dried out, lifeless and scattered, absolutely impossible. I love that in verse 3, Ezekiel responds to the Lord saying, Only you know. Only you know if these dry bones can live. Only you know if life can come back into them. This is just hopeless, and only you can do it. So God tells him to prophesy to this bleak, dark, depressing, hopeless situation. Now, I want to point out to you that this is not a prophetic picture of you and I. We are victorious in Christ, even in the midst of trouble. 1 John chapter 5, verse 4 says, For every child of God defeats this evil world, and we achieve this victory through our faith. Romans 8, 37 says, No, despite all these things, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ who loved us. Think about the fact that not even death itself can take away our hope. We deal with death. We deal with seemingly hopeless situations much differently than those who do not have Christ deal with them. The scripture says in 1 Thessalonians 4, 13, And now, dear brothers and sisters, we want you to know what will happen to the believers who have died, so you will not grieve like people who have no hope. We don't even grieve the same. Bones cannot represent us. These dry bones in Ezekiel 37 cannot represent you and I because we're alive in Christ. We're not dead. John 10, 10 says, The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 22 says, For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. So these dry bones cannot possibly represent you and I. We're victorious. We're alive in Christ. We are more than conquerors. These dry bones represent the bound. They represent those in need of a Savior. The bones represent hopeless people, and you and I are not hopeless. I want you to notice also that Ezekiel was taken to a valley. Now, biblically speaking, valleys represent hardship. Valleys represent dark times. Take a look at Psalm chapter 23, verse 4. Even when I walk to the darkest valley, I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. Or as the King James Version says, either I walk to the valley of the shadow of death, now take a look at these biblical valleys and what they represent. Consider the Valley of Elah. This is where David confronted Goliath. This is found in 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 2. This is the Valley of Conflict. Consider also the Valley of Achor. This is where Achan was stoned to death as a consequence for his sin. This is found in Joshua chapter 7, verse 26. This is the Valley of Consequence. Consider the Valley of Siddim. This is where Sodom and Gomorrah were located or near. Scholars debate the exact location, but we definitely know that this valley had slime pits. And this is found in Genesis chapter 14, verses 1 through 3 and verse 10. This is the valley of corruption. The valley of Eskol. This is where some of the Israelites decided to settle in the land instead of crossing the Jordan River and into the land God promised them. Many of them decided to stay behind. This 
This is found in Numbers chapter 32, verse 9. This is the Valley of Choice. The Valley of Kidron is a cemetery, 2 Kings chapter 23, verse 6. When you think of cemeteries, you think of death. This is the Valley of Crushing. So we have the Valley of Conflict, the Valley of Consequence, the Valley of Corruption, the Valley of Choice, and the Valley of Crushing. Consider that believers face these situations differently. When you and I face conflict, we have the Lord on our side. When you and I face consequences, we have grace. When you and I face corruption, you and I have the strength to stand against temptation. When we come to the valley of choice, we have God to guide us. When we come to the valley of crushing, we have the Holy Spirit to comfort us. But imagine facing conflict without refuge, consequence without grace, corruption without the power to resist temptation choice without divine wisdom, or crushing without hope. That's the plight of some. That's the plight of those who don't have Christ. So we see that Ezekiel's taken to a valley, a dark situation, a hopeless situation, and he's taken to dry bones. That's his assignment to these people who are dead. And it's impossible for him to bring them to life. Lord, only you know. There's nothing that Ezekiel can do for them outside of the power of God. So what's my point here? It's quite simple. You are not the dry bones in Ezekiel 37. You are not the dry bones in this prophetic narrative. You are the prophet of God with the word to speak. Maybe you've been taken to a valley. Maybe you've been put in the middle of that corruption. Maybe you've been faced with a decision. Maybe you're going through a crushing. Whatever the valley you are facing, There's an assignment in the valley. There's a job to do in the valley. There's someone who needs the breath of God. There's someone who has a hopeless situation. God has taken you to the valley that you might speak his prophetic word and take someone else to the mountaintop. This is not a message about the power of your words. This is not a message about the power of belief. This is not a message about your hopes and dreams being resurrected by God. This is a message about how God sends you to the valley to raise the dry bones back to life with his word. God will always accomplish his word no matter what you feel. And even when it seems impossible, you must know that his word never returns void. God has placed you in a valley of some sort. So instead of looking around the situation and saying, God, why me? God, why are you doing this to me? God, why am I struggling? Shift your focus and realize that you are a light in the darkness. Realize that you are not the dry bones. You are not the one who is dead. No matter what you face, even in the darkest of valleys, you have victory because you have the love of Christ. You have victory because you have the peace of the Holy Spirit. You have victory because you have joy overflowing that comes from the Spirit within. No matter what valley you're facing, remember that there's someone in that valley with you. God's taken you to that dark place. God's taken you to that difficult circumstance. God's put you among those difficult people. Not that you might stand there and say, woe is me, but that you with perfect faith might prophesy the word of the living God and rescue someone from that hopeless state. Do you realize that the dry bones represent the drug addicted, the suicidal, The stubborn and hard-hearted, the ones who don't want to hear the gospel, there's nothing in them that wants to hear the gospel. But that prophetic word you speak carries power on it because it's spoken from God. God has taken you to these who need your help. God has taken you to the demon-possessed, the perverted, the skeptical, and the cynical, the lovers of self and the lovers of pleasure. Speak the word and speak it with boldness. Speak it with faith. Speak to the dry bones. God's taken you to the valley on assignment. I want you to say this. I want you to say, the valley is my assignment. God's taken you there. And instead of being distracted by the shaking, instead of being distracted by the hardship, look for the dry bones. Look for the ones who are hopeless. You and I are not hopeless. You and I have the love of God, the power of God. You and I, in any circumstance, are victorious. So instead of looking at yourself and saying, why me? Look around and ask God, what can you do for them? 
God sent you to the valley to call people to the mountaintop. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that you would speak to us clearly in this moment. Lord, I am asking for you to begin to put that prophetic word in us. Let that word go forth and bring life to the hopeless. Bring life to those in darkness. Bring life to those in the valley. Lord, I pray you use us to call dry bones to life and to the mountain top of your glory. We thank you, Father, that we have victory in all things. We thank you, Father, that we have peace and love and joy and power no matter the circumstance. And I pray, Father, that that light within us would shine bright in the darkest of valleys. Help us to see the dry bones and help us to speak life to them, trusting you with the result, because only you know, only you can do it. We honor you and we thank you, Lord. And I want you to say it because you believe it, say, Amen. Well, that is it for the lesson. I want to welcome now the new members of Spirit Church. There you are up on the screen. We love you. We are praying for you. I always say that because I always mean it. If you like information on how you can join the Spirit family, go to davidhernandezministries.com slash spiritchurch. We're almost at 15,000 members worldwide. And I'll tell you this, God is just getting started. If you want to join the Spirit family, it's absolutely free. davidhernandezministries.com slash Spirit Church. When you go to that page, scroll all the way to the form. You'll see a form there. It's easy to fill out. Fill it out, and then you're a member of Spirit Church, and you will start getting our content right to your email box weekly. I want to get to your comments now. These comments come from last week's teaching, Yielded Vessels, the Cost of Being Anointed. Now, this was a challenging message. In this message, I talked about the ingredients for the anointing oil and how each one of those ingredients actually has a spiritually significant symbolic meaning behind it. And as we glean truths from those prophetic ingredients, we see what it takes to walk in the anointing and the power of the Holy Spirit. So if you haven't watched that yet, make sure you go back and watch that. And while you're at it, subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Facebook, Follow us on Instagram. Wherever you're watching the content, make sure you're connecting. The app, the website, connect somehow, some way with this ministry. Of course, if you do subscribe on YouTube, make sure to click that notification bell. And while you're at it, if you'd like me to potentially read your comment on next week's edition of Spirit Church, and then go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section right now. So here are the comments from last week's teaching, Yielded Vessels, The Cost of Being Anointed. Nini says, This ministry has been such a blessing to my life. Thank you, DHM team, for all you do. Debs DeLizo writes, Very powerful, Pastor David. You spoke to me in this message. We are in the season you described in this teaching. May the Lord continue to stir your anointing in teaching the body of Christ. Emily Laramore writes, Thank you, Brother David, for another powerful and helpful message. I've been praying that the Holy Spirit would flow through me to impact others, and this message was so timely. God bless you, your family, and your ministry as you bring the presence and power of the Holy Spirit to this generation and generations in the future. Ever since I started watching your content, my spiritual life has changed in miraculous ways, including receiving the gift of tongues. Glory to God. P.S. I hope and pray that your little Aria is doing good. Well, thank you. I appreciate that, Emily. Aria is doing well, and I am thrilled to know that God touched your life through this ministry. This is the Holy Spirit's network. This is the Holy Spirit's channel. He can do whatever He wants on this, and we get testimonies like that because the Holy Spirit is working through His ministry. John Ragas writes, A timely reminder for this season. Thank you for reminding me that rushing the process will only delay me more. Yes, John, that's a very important point to remember. If you're wondering what John is talking about, make sure you watch that teaching Yielded Vessels, The Cost of Being Anointed. And the final comment comes from Rose Celia Mutia, who writes, I thank God for using this ministry to grow me spiritually and get to know more about the Holy Spirit, who is working within me for the glory of God. All the praises, glory, and honor we lift to you, God. Amen. Rose, I'm so glad to know that your life is being impacted by the Holy Spirit's ministry, and it truly is His ministry. And just like Rose, 
Thousands of people all around the world are being impacted by this ministry. Now, don't turn this video off just yet. Give me just a few more minutes. I want to talk to you about something. I want you to remember this phrase. Together we can do more than we could ever do alone. When you support this ministry financially, you're helping us to fund all of the content that you see. Videos like Spirit Church, Moment of Truth, Stephen Moctezuma's worship clips, and the clips of the presence and power of the Holy Spirit in action. You are funding the live streams. That's the live events that we do as well as viral revival. You're funding our events that we do all around the world. And you're funding the Holy Spirit School, which is raising spiritual leaders for life and ministry. And we don't charge for any of that. Why? Because freely we've received, so freely we give. Our strategy is simple. We go by faith. And we trust that you, the people of God, will hear from the Holy Spirit. You'll hear Him nudging you to support this ministry. And we trust that you'll obey the Holy Spirit's voice. When you support this ministry, you're supporting all of those things. On top of that, you're helping us to win souls, build believers, bring deliverance to the captive, bring healing to the sick. Many are being baptized in the Holy Spirit for the first time, and you're a part of it. And if that's not enough, take a look at these partner benefits that you get when you support this ministry on a monthly basis. At the $10 level, that's $10 or more a month, you get access to our monthly Zoom calls. That's a Zoom call with me and Steve, where we give you inside information about the ministry, and you're the first to know about upcoming events and special announcements. You get a beautiful Dove lapel pin that you can wear to show your support of this ministry. You get 10% off all ministry apparel. You get event seat reservations, and you get a monthly email update that's exclusive for you, our monthly supporters. At the $30 a month level, that's $30 or more a month, you get all of those benefits, plus you get to choose a book from our book catalog. That's one of four books. I'll sign it and send it to you as an initiation gift to say thank you. Now, if you partner with us at $100 or more, you get all of those benefits, but your discount on apparel is actually doubled. And you don't get one book at the $100 level. You get all four books signed. Now, we know you do this because you love the Lord, but these are ways that we give back to our partners to say thank you. On top of all of that, you also get to enjoy the content yourself. You guys, you fund the content so others can see it. You, you get to be a part of something bigger than yourself. You get all of those partner benefits. You help us win souls, build believers, raise disciples, all of those things I mentioned. There's nothing better, guys. And I want to encourage you now to allow the Holy Spirit to speak to you because it's your support that we're counting on. You may say, well, I'm just $10 a month, or I'm just $30 a month, or I'm just a one-time gift of $25, $50, or $100. You may think that, but I want you to trust not only God, I want you to trust your fellow believers all around the world. Trust that you're not going to be the only one supporting this ministry. When you give to this ministry, when you partner with us, trust that your brothers and sisters are going to do the same. And we're all together going to maximize our impact to continue to spread the gospel all around the world. Because together we can do more than we could ever do alone. So go right now, davidhernandezministries.com slash donate to give a one-time gift, or davidhernandezministries.com slash partner to become a monthly ministry supporter. Remember to check that partnership page as well to see the latest offer. We change those regularly, so make sure that you see what we're offering at the moment. But go and do that right now. Whether you're giving one time or you're partnering with us monthly, it makes a difference. Don't count yourself out. Join us as we spread the gospel around the world in the power of the Holy Spirit, through events and media. And that is it for this edition of Spirit Church here on the Encounter TV Network. Until next time, remember, nothing is impossible with God. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.